everyone I hope everybody's doing well today in this video I'll be filming a one brand makeup tutorial as you guys know I am here in Turkey so if you guys follow my Instagram you guys will definitely see my traveling adventures so being here in Turkey has sort of opened my eyes to a few more new products so that's why I ventured out and not only did I spend a ton of money at Sephora but I also went to a exclusive Turkish brand I'm not sure where it's from but I know that there's a lot of stores here in Turkey with the brand Lorimar if you guys are familiar with it if not I'll pop their socials down below so go and check them out I've sussed it out a little bit and I've tested some products so I am actually really impressed with their products so I thought I'd do a one brand makeup tutorial dedicated to this brand while I'm in here in Turkey as you guys can see my background is not in my house and if you guys do hear some noises outside I am actually staying with family so I really apologize for that but in saying that let's get into the video all right so let's get straight into it so for my primer I'll be using Using the Illuminating Makeup Primer Plus. It smells like it's got perfume in it. It feels like a moisturizer, like something Garnier would come up with, like a daily moisturizer. But it's very thin. It feels very, very refreshing. Not so sticky as well. It's like it's got a good sort of touch to it. It's not like it's going to, like, it's not sticky if you know what I mean but it feels very refreshing it feels like I've just basically washed my face and towel dried it so for my foundation I'll be using the Floma Stay True Face and Body Foundation and this one's in the shade 06 Honey so in my brush I've pumped two pumps and the shade as you guys can see I've got a bit of a tan on so it's matching perfectly as far as first impressions it feels very light it doesn't feel so heavy it doesn't feel sticky so far coverage wise it's medium but we'll see if it's buildable as well now I would have pulled off just two pumps but my brush eats a lot of product so if you do have a beauty blender two pumps will be just enough it's matte it feels matte but looks dewy so that's the complete effect it gave it is it's matte but it feels Dewy. As you guys can see, it is medium coverage, but other than that, it feels great, it feels fine, it feels fresh, and my brush is shedding. So for my brows, I'll be using the Flow My Brow Pencil in the shade. It doesn't write a shade, but it says a number 403. It was the darkest shade there because I do have really dark brows, even though they're covered in foundation at the moment. And we'll just go ahead, I'll zoom you guys in so you guys can see. Go ahead and just fill my brows in. My brows are very like they don't need much to do but all I would basically do is just fill in the front very very lightly as you guys can see I'm holding my brush at the very end and just work my way around my arches. This shade works perfectly. It is very much like a pencil. There's nothing crayon or oily about it. Right, so that's my brows filled in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to brush them out as well just using any spoolie that you guys have disposable whatever so for my concealer i'll be using the flow my perfect coverage liquid concealer in the shade 10 fair it's got a thin consistency but it smells really nice the shade seems like the fit me in 10 light if you guys want to compare it to anything it may be just a tad bit light i'm not too sure but we'll just see how we go so let's go ahead and blend that in very blendable it doesn't dry so quickly too it doesn't seem cakey as well that's a blended side and that's the normal side so it blends perfectly still leaves that shine on the skin it doesn't feel heavy doesn't feel like it's going to cake up but we'll see how we go throughout the day as well my brush is just shedding into pieces i need to get a new foundation brush i mean i would use my beauty blender but i just wanted something different today so for my brows i'm going to go ahead and use my fingertips So to set my face, I'm going to be using the Floma Baked Powder in the shade 30 Matte Beige. This one might be a bit too yellow for me, so we'll see. And I'll just use my BH Cosmetics 124 brush. So it does seem like it's got a bit of a coverage. It's definitely not translucent at all. Okay, so for my contour today, I'll be using the Flomar Baked Powder in the shade 23 Dual Gold. And I'll be going with the bronze side, obviously, to contour and like bronze my face up. First impression, blends really well. Color payoff shows really well on camera as well. Not a contour shade, but I didn't want to go for a contour shade because I didn't want something, like I didn't want to blush either. So I thought I'd rather go for the bronze goddess sort of look other than um, like the classic bronze highlight blush, you know. So I went for something with a glimmer in it. I 
and obviously using my NARS Eater Brush to sort of contour my nose. My dad accidentally kneed me in the nose today, so as he was trying to walk outside into the balcony because I'm filming in front of the balcony, like in front of the door, the entrance, and my nose is going to need contouring. Just to sharpen my contour a little bit, I am going to go in with my Eater Brush. I'm going to contour lines in my cheeks to give it a bit more of a sharp look to it. But I think that like it's really, really, really good for the price that I paid. And then going ahead with the highlighting side to highlight my face. The first impression with the highlighter, it's pretty standard, but it's buildable, so it's really nice. It looks so soft, it looks like it's airbrushed, you know? So moving into the eyes. For my eyes, I got one palette. It's the Floma Color Wonder Eyeshadow Palette and this one's in the shade 02 Iconic. That's what it looks like. And for my base shade, I'll be starting off with that shade over there. So the payoff of the white is not so out there as you guys can see. There's barely any difference. It's just got a tiny bit of shimmer to it. If I was to choose this as a base shade, I really won't. And because it does have like not so like coarse, but it does have you can see the shimmers in it. So it's not an ideal base shade, but we're just going with what we have on hand at the moment. Okay, so for my crease, I'll be using it with that brown shade over there and just be using window wiping motions starting from outer corner to inner corner, just in my crease, focusing directly in my crease. When you have barely anything left on the brush, moving it slightly up. The more pigmented shades seem a lot more better, like this brown, it blends really well. It's not so buttery like your, you know, Too Faced palettes or your Urban Decay palettes. But I mean, the colour payoff is really good for the price that we paid and there is very minimal fallout. Like I've got a bit of fallout over here, that's because of the white and none on this side as yet. Now going ahead again with that same shade and intensifying your crease and the soft on the outer corner of your eye, just like that. And then grabbing a flat top brush and grabbing that very first shade that we used. Pressing that onto the inner corner of your eye. A bit of highlight, popping that shade on your brow bone as well. And then using your blending brush, just pull into those areas together. And then using that blue shade, just Give it a little touch, just giving that bit of full tone in that crease and blending your way through. This look is so out of my comfort zone. Then grabbing your concealer, putting a tiny bit on the back of your hand, just like that. Grabbing a brush and popping that in the middle. And then grabbing your flat top brush and then going in with that green shade. And then grabbing your blending brush and just blending it in with that brown shade that you have. Now using any liner brush, going in with that blue shade directly on your lower lash line and flicking it at the end. See how I just flicked it? And then using a clean blending brush and just slightly smoking that in. So for my lips today, I'll be using the Floma Waterproof Lip Liner in the shade 201. And then using the Floma Silk Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 02 All Rose. So I pop my mascara on and I set my brows only because I couldn't find what I like at Floma at the Floma I went to. But other than that, this is the complete look with the one brand. Obviously, I'm not a cool tone sort of gal, so I don't like the eye makeup I came out with. I'm just being completely transparent here, completely honest on my channel. But other than that, I did like the foundation. I did love the bronzer and the highlight. The lip colors 
right up my alley anyway. The shadows did seem, I'm so sorry, they've kicked out there playing at school. There's a school right next to you, the place we're staying at. The shadows did seem a bit towards your low end sort of range, but they still did blend out really well. I did like the outcome of the shadows, but the way it's cool toned is just not me. I just, I just can't. Other than that, if you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any video recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get right back to you. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next three or four days. Bye.